Hello, everybody. Facebook has announced that they have deleted 150 accounts of the protest against uh, the corona policies, including uh, vaccination or mandatory vac uh, vaccination, including uh, the lockdowns uh, and a variety of other policies. And um, those 150 accounts, in addition to uh, the links, have been removed in a new kind of a category f uh, Facebook I is now using, and that is uh, the um, coordinated social harm uh, um, category. So um, for them, uh, the uh, these people or this bulk of people, they are kind of uh, conspiring uh, or are uh, in a, I don't know, co they are coordinating uh, the breaking of their community standards, uh, which include not just uh, supposed uh, misinformation on health issues, but also hate speech. Now, this is a far fetch, of course, but um, the underpinning um, ideology is that basically everything that deviates from the political left is Nazism. And when uh, the left is in power and they want uh, something like a, a, a corona policy, um, it is all Nazism. Um, this has been going on for quite some time. If you if you uh, listen to Antifa types, for example, um, they will be happy to tell you that everything, capitalism leads to fascism. Everything leads to fascism. It is like uh, the, the opposite of what Barack Obama um, uh, um, uh, told the world uh, being the arc of history. The arc of history is either social justice or the arc of history is total fascism. There's, there's like nothing in between or it's it's only an inter interim step towards either social justice or hell because in this context all protest is uh, counter-revolutionary is hostile is evil and it's basically also all the same <laughs> um one strategy they they use and they have used for a, a substantial time is to pick any protest and then they choose um the worst offender so to say somebody who is you know by any uh, by any standards by any social standards in that case and they present all the rest of the group as this one particular nutcase. Uh, this tactic has been used for some time already. You, you, had, you know, maybe in America there is this wiki called uh, Rational Wiki. Uh, they supposedly started laser focusing on uh, false medical information and false uh, conspiracy theories. So they started out with uh, things that most people agree are uh, nonsense. And I'm sure some of these protests uh, against the COVID uh, uh, policies they will probably also have advocated uh, to heal everything by eating snails and uh, um, sugaring pickles whatever um, and uh, these crazy people will always exist in any group so it's always that they start with um, the Ku Klux Klan um, the uh, people who see uh, UFOs, uh, Nessie, um, Bigfoot, and so on, and then they gradually move, uh, you know, towards uh, Alex Jones, and then it, it continues to Paul Joseph Watson, and eventually uh, Anne Coulter, the most sane person in any room, um, is caught in this. Uh, oh yeah, they are all crazy. It's all it's all uh, madness. I really hate to actually throw Ben Shapiro under the bus here, but I think I must because. Um, he won't be there once the people will come after you, once you are included in the snail eating hubs against everything um, um, loop, right? Um, so starting from the most insane and then eventually uh, catching you. He won't be there because he believes that everybody, every mental disorder is the same men mental disorder and it's all uh, dysfunctioning a person to the degree that his own grandfather was dysfunctional. Uh, his grandfather was uh, a, a paranoid uh, schizophrenic as far as I know, at least a schizophrenic in, of, of sorts. And uh, actually most people who have some ailment of the mind don't suffer from schizophrenia. But for him it's all the same and Whatever uh, whatever people will uh, assume to be nuts, crazy, strange, um, is for him, it's all the same. And therefore, he will have no compassion if you are locked up, if you are uh, deprived of all your rights. Um, he won't be there for you. I'm, I'm really sorry to say that, but it's really what, I, uh, what I've come to feel. Anyways, so the founder of the movement, uh, Mr. Michael Balbeck, is a... Uh, uh, a business school grad who is running an IT company um, at this point. And uh, he, he seems like a, a very uh, level-headed person and he is now um, um, taking legal actions against Facebook 
um, and I hope, I don't know, but I hope he will also maybe find uh, uh, some uh, defamation uh, or he will get some uh, defamation uh, verdict out of it as well because um, they are they are alleging hate as well. He also say that uh, his uh, his protests have resulted in physical violence. Um, I have not spent much time actually following them, but as far as I remember, there was this one single incident in which uh, journalists have claimed that objects were thrown at them. They have not specified the objects. They just said objects were thrown at them. And then there was uh, at... Um, at one protest march, it was not at the protest march, it was actually somewhat distant from the protest march, uh, some journalists have been beaten up. And, and they say, I'm not quite sure if that's actually true, but um, they said that um, uh, three of them were hurt severely. However, uh, this had uh, the police so far has not found any connection of those who attacked those journalists to the, to the protest that these people wanted to cover in the in the journalist uh, journalism efforts at this point right so there is actually no connection outside of this one claim that a group of journalists uh, said they were uh, palleted with objects unidentified objects maybe flying objects uh, you know when there are so many uh, people who see flying saucers uh, are come together maybe they are uh, throwing uh, uh, you know ufos who knows the main account on facebook was called quer 711 uh, 711 is uh, the uh, telephone code for the city of Stuttgart where the first protests uh, started. And a Querdenker, and this was uh, mistranslated by the uh, um, English speaking, Germany focused um, um, newspaper, The Locals. Um, that means um, um, cross, um, cross or connecting the, the sides. And they have translated it as. Uh, the, the lateral thinkers, but lateral really only means uh, you know the sides and uh, actually the the image people have when they hear lateral is actually not connected and queer is 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 cross. It's actually connecting the sides in in German. So um, it's related to the English word queer, by the way. That's uh, maybe quite interesting. So um, what they tried to say was not we are the French side thinkers as uh, the locals <laughs> made it out to be, but what uh, the name tried to convey is that they are the con uh, the connecting um the party connecting movement focusing on this one topic which is the corona policies and by the way there are a lot of um terrible things going on i uh, see more of these bullying um, legislation coming along uh, berlin is going ahead of course um telling people that uh, they can exclude customers from their businesses um, if they don't get vaccinated, uh, which is insane. I don't understand the logic, and this is now, I mean, this is universal, this is not just my opinion, and I hate to repeat other people's opinion, but it's um, something that that is so obvious, I don't understand how people don't understand it. Um, any medication is for the person himself, okay? You don't get a vaccination or any other medicine for other people. And if you if you believe you can protect yourself against something with a vaccination or with a medicine. You don't fear anymore that other people do you any harm. So there is actually no point why you should pressure other people into getting your favorite medicine. So I hope this does not qualify as misinformation. All I say is, okay, you vaccinate yourself for yourself and not for somebody else. And that's fine. And leave other people alone. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for listening and I'll see you soon. Bye.